Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcoming you back for more Majora's Mask. Oh my goodness, I can't even tell you guys how good it feels to be recording this game. Seriously, ever since like the end of my LP, I've just been like, man, I want to record more Majora's Mask, but I knew I couldn't because I had already beaten the moon. Oh yeah, let's look up at the moon and where it's not anymore. Haha, ha, you stupid- uh. What? But I beat you! You turned into a rainbow! What? Rainbow! Alright, fuck the rainbow. Um, <laughs> we're here for a bonus episode. So, yeah, actually, once you beat the game, it resets pretty much everything. You go back to the dawn the first day, and the moon's back up there and everything, the skull kid, they're still the imminent threat of apocalypse. And you actually have all your masks back from the kids, so you don't have to go back and get them all again. And you actually also have the fierce deities mask here. Yes. Oh my goodness. It's so crazy. Yeah, the first time I actually played this game, I thought that you would have to, like, um... For some reason, I thought that they would, they would make, like, some kind of second quest where you'd have to go back and get all the masks again, except, like, you had to do something different for each mask. But they didn't do that. Because that probably would have caused some tedium, and more people hate this game than already do. Yeah, there's actually quite a few people that hate this game. Can you believe that shit? That's just... I don't even know. I don't even know. Anyways, so we are going to go ahead and show off what the Fierce Deities Mask can do in this video. Yes, but as you can see, outside of like anywhere pretty much right now, um, the Fierce Deities Mask is like grayed out or transparencyed out, and you cannot equip it at all. That's because you can't equip it outside of a boss room because it is a mask specially designed to take on the bosses. Except it doesn't quite work that well on all the bosses, it's just mainly two. And I'm going to go ahead and show those, well, three, I guess, but I'm going to go ahead and show those off. So, that's really all I have to say on that. I will meet you at Adalwa. Jeremiah was a bullfrog. He was a good friend of mine. I never understood a single word he said, but I helped him drink his wine. Okay, so we are now in Odalwa's room, and as you can see, the great, the Fierce Deities mask is not transparent anymore, so let's see what this does. Holy crap, holy crap. No! <laughs> that's, I honestly think that's like the scariest transformation mask, because like, it's actually Link's face itself, and his eyes are, it's just something really creepy about it, but yeah, but now look at us. We are freaking gigantic. We're bigger than like, adult Link from Ocarina of Time, we're bigger than... Uh, I'm trying to make another comparison, but I can't. Oh well. And look at our freaking sword. Like even on the sword button, it changes and everything. It's so cool. And you make the adult link sounds when you're like this too, so that's pretty awesome. Anyways, guess I get to get right into it here. Oh man, we don't even have pupils. How scary is that? We had it in transformation, but oh well. All right, hey Adola. Nice to see you again. Haven't seen you in like forever, but. We're not going to be seeing you for long. Oh yeah, check this out. Get- Oh, dude, hit him. Thank you. Oh, what? Okay. Oh, there we go. That's Adala for you. <laughs> My goodness. That went by so fast, I hardly even knew what was going on. He just started glowing blue, and all of a sudden... Blue fire. So, that's Adala for you with the Fierce Deeds mask. That is probably the cheapest, like, boss battle ever now. It's crazy. But basically what's going on there is that when you L target and then press your sword button as the Fierce Deity, you shoot out a magic laser that like pretty much annihilates everything. And that is basically the whole key to this Fierce Deity's mask. That's what makes it so freaking cheap that you won't even believe it. Like against Gjorg and everything, it's just crazy. It's not too useful against Twin Mold, but I don't know, I guess we'll see that. Uh, why am I showing you this? Jeez. Wait a minute, what the hell? I want to get out to that island. I'm so getting out to that island someday. Alrighty then, I am back, and my freaking water just turned on. It started, like, flowing, and it's so loud. Man, the recording's gonna pick that up now. It's gonna piss me off, too. Well, maybe not. 
Maybe I should trust my microphone more than I think it deserves. Anyways, let's unfreeze Got here. And I have to say that this is probably one of the bosses that is not very easy with the Fierce Deities Mask. And you will... I'm sure you can imagine why, but... I'm gonna show you why. Oh man, you're not so big and scary anymore. Jeez, his face looks like a wrinkled old man. It's like I'm fighting croup. You know, croup, like poop. Okay, give me some magic. That's nice. Oh, nice magic sauce. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> there we go. So, basically, he's gonna, like, run around a corner. And then you're gonna, like, confront him. And it seems that every time you encounter him as Fierce Deity, then he, like, runs a little bit farther. And he switches direction randomly on you. So, he should be coming from this way right now. If my sources are correct. Um... Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh my god! Oh my goodness! I couldn't tell. I could hear him, I could hear him like clicking. I could hear his hoofs clicking so much closer, but I just couldn't tell where he was coming from. Jeez, that was such a dirt moment. Okay, I hear him. This is like a horror film. I don't. I want. Don't want to stand too close. Oh shit! Oh my god! Jeez. This is one bull you definitely do not want to take by the horns. Oh my goodness. Okay, so hopefully he won't just switch direction. I'll wait for him here. I better step out of the way. Oh, here he comes. Yes, okay. And once he does that, yeah, oh, what? Oh my god, he almost threw me into like the freaking... What? The, those are like Christmas decorations up there. Holy crap, it's like Cinco de Mayo or something. I Wow. Cinco de Mayo. I don't even know if those are the colors of Cinco de Mayo. Maybe. I think those are like the, those are like the colors of like the Italian flag or something. Oh sh! He did it again. He did it again. Man, he wants to, me to celebrate celebrate my like true ethnicity or something. Well, I hate to tell you, man, but I'm not Italian, and neither is Link. I think. But Link is a dink. You nink. You nink. Hey, hey. Oh my goodness, I'm getting so many shots off on it. Look at, did you see that? That was amazing. Okay. Maybe this battle's not as bad as I thought. I used to remember this being really bad. Maybe I was just being stupid back then. Alright, here he comes again. Oh, hit him. Yes, 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 yes. Sweet! Oh my goodness, and look at him glow blue. Jeez, that reminds me of like a Freezy or something. And how fitting, because we're in Snowhead Temple. And he gets buried under the pile of manure. Right. Whoa, what? What the hell kind of an angle am I looking at this from now? Like, um. Oh, okay. For a minute, I thought I was like looking at it like laterally, and Link was um, like standing on the wall, and like that was the like the floor I was looking at, but, but it was actually the wall. I don't know. That was some kind of mind trip there. That was, that was weird. Anyways, that is got as the fierce DD and it's spring. Beautiful, beautiful spring. So, I guess to Georg now. This is the tale of Fierce Deity heading off to kill Georg off to the island of Great Bay Temple which isn't really much of an island at all. Okay, guys, I'm back again now. And how many times have I said that now? I don't know. And let's go ahead and just put on the Fierce Deities mask up here. Yeah, we're going to put it on before we drop down. Do you believe that? And now we drop! And then boom. Nice full body shot of uh, Oni Link there. That's actually another name for the Fierce DD is Oni Link. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. It's like Japanese for something. I don't know. Oh, and while we're going through this cutscene again, which I might end up speeding up or something, I'm going to take a drink of apple juice here. Yeah, apple juice, not Coke, apple juice. Man, apples are like the best fruit ever found. Okay, so as the Fierce Deity here, you can actually pretty much destroy this guy. Just like, look at this. 
It, because like these freaking beams. Okay, I'm not hitting them any. Wait, don't get out of the water. Dude, there's no time to go in for a swim. Basically, all you have to do is just lock on and fire. Because this thing goes through the water. You don't even have to ever step in the water. The only thing you really have to be careful about when you're using the Fierce D's mask is that um, it actually consumes magic. Little by little, it consumes magic. But it does. So just be wary of that. It's like kind of like at that... The magic... The, num the amount of magic it consumes is like right at the threshold of like insignificant and um, totally like just like something you need to worry about. And holy crap. Man, that's the guy I like died to last time. What? I did like a practice run of like these bosses with like the Fierce Deity's mask and that guy actually like I, yeah, I actually had some trouble with Georg, believe it or not. And Twimmel was actually pretty easy, but... Man. This is going like gravy. It's going like clockwork, like cockwork. As Nintendo Capri Sun would say. Wow, there was something epic about the way I said, like, Nintendo Capri Sun. At the same time, that the sun was up in the sky and Link was falling down from the front of it. That's just, like, one of those moments that's now going to be, like, engraved in my memory. You know how, like, we associate, uh, memories or whatever to, to like, certain events? And for, for, like, me, since I play so many video games, I, like, associate certain moments in my life to video games and certain events in those video games. And certain things I say, like, um, I'm trying to think of a good example here. You know what, I, I can't think of a good example off the top of my head, I'm actually pretty tired, but, I don't know, hopefully someone out there will get what I'm what I'm trying to say here, but just shut up now. Okay, oh, I am back, and you can't actually put on the Fierce Deeds mask in this room. Oh well, night of the first day, am I seriously taking that long to do this? Well, I'm not playing like the inverted song of time, so, I guess it's understandable. Oh boy, yep. Hey, I remember you! Jeez. Giant masked insect twin mold. Yes. Oh, there's so many crazy ways I've seen a bean sky. I've seen people using like fire and ice arrows, light arrows, uh, giant's mask, obviously, fierce deities mask, but I've also seen people using Gorons and Dekus and stuff. It's crazy. It's crazy how creative people are. Yeah, but anyways, you can probably imagine why this guy is not very easy to fight with the Fierce Deities Mask. Because he's, like, constantly moving. So, you really have to get kind of lucky here. Oh, yes, yeah, sweet, okay. Or just, like, do what I just didn't say cheap there. Say, like, the spot where he originates from the Earth. And then try and get him like that. Problem with that, though, is they were bound to run out of magic if you can just keep spamming hold. Oh my god. Dude, you're getting all up in the camera. You can't just eat the camera. That's what provided me with my image. Okay. Okay, there we go. Man. Dude, wouldn't it be funny if I had to, like, just, like, beat this guy with my sword instead and just, like... Oh my goodness, that'd be crazy. Beat him with my sword. Seriously, who fights as who fights as like the fierce deity with a sword? Well, it looks like I might have to here. Shit. Yeah, I, don't target that. That's bullshit. Oh my god, I'm out of magic practically. Wait, is that magic? That, that's magic. That's magic, dude. Dude, stop running loops around it. Dude, stop. You're jumping. You're jumping over your Christmas presents. Man, I don't even remember where I heard that, but it was awesome when I did. Oh my god. Now I can't even see what I'm doing. Okay, I'm officially out of magic, guys. I don't know what to tell you. Um. Well. Well, crap. Hey. Jeez, maybe I should just warp out and get some Chateau Romani. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. <laughs> Link, what are you doing? You don't, you don't, you don't want to ride him. Hey, oh my god. I could, I could have hit him there. Wait. Maybe if I catch him off here. Yes. Oh, no. He just ran right into his face. You know, like, get your face out of my place, Twin Mold. Look at... They're all tangled here. This is just dumb. Hey. Wait, get it. Get him. Yes. Yes. I hit him with my sword. Oh, yeah. Yeah, how many people can say that? That they hit Twin Mold with a sword. Oh, man. Uh, I hit him one fraction of a second too early there. And I paid the ultimate price. The ultimate price. Here it comes. Here it comes. Dude. Okay, here he goes. Yes. No. No. This is not... <laughs> I'm making such a jackass out of myself. This, this fight is not this hard. Oh, man. I should have jump attacked right there. Hmm. Okay, let's jump attack this fool. Hey. Okay. That doesn't work. Oh, yeah, because jump attack and sand is... Uh, duh. Jump attack and sand is crippled. Yes. Oh, sweet. I beat him. I beat the red guy. And his, his body's, like, glitching out. He's going... Did you see that one section of his body? It was crazy. It was like going off at a 90 degree angle from a turn that it made. It was just like... Uh, if that happened in real life to some worm that was just like scurrying along the road, I wouldn't even know what I was thinking or seeing. Man. 
I swear, like, the other day, I was just, like, watching some guy, or I was, like, sitting in the street, and some guy was just, like, walking by, but I was, like, only looking at him out of the corner of my eye, so I couldn't really tell what was going on, and he, like, it looked like, from my perspective, that he turned, like, literally on a dime, like, it was, like, a video, and one frame, he was going one direction, and another frame, he was going, like, the exact opposite direction. It was just, like, such a quantum mind trip, it, I don't even know how to explain that. Must have been just, like, the light screw me up or something. Just like this guy screw me over! Okay, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him! Holy shit! Wait, did I hit him there? He made a roar sound. So I think I did. You know, like, roar! He's trying to intimidate me. But it's not gonna work. Oh, he's right at my ground level here. Get on my level! Ow! <laughs> I hit him with the wow. Oh, the irony is just killing me. How you, like, step forward to slash him with your sword, and you step forward right into the line of fire. Oh my god, hit him in the face. That would be awesome. I'm pretty sure you can actually hit them in the face and kill them. Or, like, hurt them. But it doesn't matter now, because he's dead. And he's just going absolutely ape shit. And he falls into the sand. The sandy, sandy grave. Whoa, this place is cool now. You can actually see that it's nighttime in a kitchen just like yours. Always quiet, or is it? A North American house hippo is found throughout Canada in the eastern United States. Anyways, that seems that it would be the last boss that I want to show off in this video. Um, I still have, like, you can fight Majora's Mask with the, or, like, the three forms of Majora with the Fierce DD2, but I kind of want to save that for, like, its own special video along with something else that I have up my sleeve. Yes, I still have many aces up my sleeve for this game, don't you worry. But, that should probably be it for this video, so, I thank you all wholeheartedly for watching, and until next time, this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you, and good night. Sword play.